your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark We're dreamers Good morning, good morning, good morning. I thought I would make this video because this video does need to be made. And this is something that needs to be spoken about. So, one question that, you know, I was wondering is, why is it so hard to label something as a hate crime whether you are lgbtq plus whether um you're a person of color um whether you, you have a religious affiliation you know whether you know whether you do not conform to the norms of society, why is it hard to prove hate crimes? Why is it hard to prove a hate crime? And the reason why it is so hard to prove a hate crime is because you have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the crime was motivated because of hate. You have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt, beyond a shadow of a doubt, 
you have to prove that it was motivated by hate. And even if there is proof, prosecutors still don't really prosecute crimes as hate crimes, even if they have the proof. Because you have to convince a jury beyond the shadow of a doubt that it is hate motivated. That there is hate behind it. One of the things that I found is that even if there is hate behind it, the, the, it, boi- it, it kind of boils down to free speech. Just because a person is hate motivated doesn't mean that crime is, it was motivated by hate. In America, you know, it is, you you know, there are a lot of instances where prosecutors will use, you know, the hate crime. But we, but, but, there is a but here, usually during trial, if they can't get a conviction on a hate crime charge, they will drop it. They will drop it. And they will move on to an actual charge where they can get a conviction. And I, you know, I'm, I'm divided on this because I'm angry. But at the same time, I understand. But when you have the proof that it was hate motivated, you know, you got it right there. You've got the proof that it was hate motivated. You've got the proof right there. Why are you dropping? Why are you dropping that charge? But then again, you know, I'm thinking, Okay, well, people may not understand, you know, the true hate behind it, or a lot of people will go, well, they're enacting their free speech. The perfect example of this is back in 2016. A recent rant at a suburban Chicago festival resulted in a video and hate crime charges against Jessica Sanders. Video captured Sanders as she used racially charged language while talking. Sorry, while taking a swipe and spitting at a black couple, according to the Chicago Sun-Times. A judge found Sanders guilty of battery, but not guilty of hate crimes. This is a perfect example of why I believe that we need to reevaluate free speech. I'm not against free speech. I love free speech. I do. But the UK and even Europe have taken steps to take hate speech and make it a crime. Well, you can still have free speech. You can still voice your opinion. You can still voice your concerns, but at the same time, I believe that some speech should not be free speech. I do believe, 
you know, people saying the N word or please, please don't yell at me for this one because I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to use another word. Okay. I don't, but using the N word or calling people fags or calling people queer or, um, carpet munchers, stuff like that. I do believe that that should be labeled as hate speech. I do. I believe that people who use hate words should be punished. Of course, in my mind, my punishment is different than everybody else's, you know, but I will say this, they should be punished either by a fine or by jail time. And I'm not talking about a week in jail or a $100 fine. No, I think that people should be fined where it hurts, either a year in jail or a $10,000 fine. Now, in my mind, I'd be going $10,000 or a year for each and every slur that they used. But I know that that's never going to happen. I, I also believe that our government should be teaching, should be teaching, um, Acceptance and, you know, tolerance and understanding, okay? We are, we are in the 21st century. Hate speech should not be allowed anywhere. Hate crimes should not be allowed anywhere. But I was reading an article, literally, I was reading an article, okay? And this is what the article said on this. More than 600, now this was back in 2018, okay? So, yes, while it is an old article, it's still prevalent, okay? So, let me, re let me remind people, this article was written in 2018, but it's still prevalent today. And this is what the art, this is the, this is the headline. Suffering in the shadows. More than 600 LGBTQ plus people killed in the U.S. in the past two decades. Okay. Now, then, literally, more than 600 LGBTQ identifying people have been killed in acts of violence in the United States and Puerto Rico since the day Matthew Shepard died. And the problem with this, I'm, I'm going down here. The problem with this is that they were going on a database that they created about a database created um, that labeled the deaths as a hate crime. And the article pointed this out that since not a lot of prosecutors label things as a hate crime, there are probably more, more people that have died to a hate crime than has been reported. It also goes on to say this. Dozens of LGBTQ plus people are killed each year. 
with variable with verifiable tallies increasing even as America made strides toward workplace and marriage equality. The 2016 death toll was the highest of any year we tracked, with 67 LGBTQ plus people killed. 28 were, were pulse victims who we could confirm identified as LGBTQ plus. 2017 was close behind with 53. This is why I was saying that, yeah, we made a lot of strides, but there is a lot more that needs to be done. There is a lot more that needs to be done at the federal level and at the state level to protect people regardless if they are gay, straight, whether they are people of color, whether they have a whether they are Latino, whether they are Puerto Rican, whether they identify as Christian or as Protestants or as Catholics, there needs to be a lot more work to be done to protect people from intolerance and ignorance. I know a lot of people are probably going to go and come back at me going, well, these findings can't be true. These findings are as true or as accurate as they can get. Like I said, a lot of crimes are not labeled as hate crimes. And even if they are, a lot of prosecutors drop that crime and go after the crime that they know can get a conviction. And it, and it is true. The rate at which violence against LGBTQ plus is going, it's actually going up. It's not going down. It is literally climbing. And that is scary. Even in the most, even in states with legislation protecting the state citizens, there are still hate crimes against LGBTQ. There are still hate crimes against people that that people disagree with. And I know I'm trying to find it hard to find my words this morning and I apologize. I do. As I said that this is really troublesome. It is. for, And I said this. Every time we seem to get ahead in equality, we always fall four steps back. And that is wrong. You know, we should be we should be making strides, you know, in a perfect world, you know, everybody would get along. We're not in a perfect world. I understand that. I, I oh, oh, do I know we're not in a perfect world? Oh, boy. But 
But at the same time, we cannot continue on with the division anymore. We can't. We are in the 21st century and people are still thinking like it's the 1960s, 70s. Some are even thinking that it's still the 1950s and that is wrong. We need legislatures to literally be in today's society. To understand what is going on. I'm not getting into politics. Okay? I'm not. Okay? Because whatever you believe is what you want to believe. What I am saying is, is that we need protections for today's time. We need laws for today's time. Some laws should be revisited and should be revised. Some laws should be made and passed. There should be laws against hate crimes. I'm done with my little rant because I know once I get started, I'm going to be repetitive and I'm going to go back in the circle. But, you know, tell me what, you, what your thoughts are in, my, in the comments. Okay, I know some of you may disagree with me. I know some of you may agree with me. But I would like to I would like to read what your points of view are on on this topic and on my opinion. You all have a great day and I will be making another video later on. All right? Thank you everybody that's that has watched this video. I shall see you all soon. Bye.